working mechanism of an escalator. Escalators are also called as revolving stairs. Escalators can move lot more people as compared to elevators. There is at least two escalators alongside each other, one going up and the other going down. They can extend from multiple levels. Escalators are most useful in places where there are large amounts of people to move, such as airports, shopping malls and subway systems. We will see about the regular escalators in detail. The modern world without escalators are hard to imagine. An elevator is usually provided nearby for those who can't use the escalators. To save space, escalators may be arranged in crisscross patterns. They may be longer, shorter or wider depending on the needs of the place. Sometimes stairs are in the middle for those that want to walk. And on some occasion, the escalators will all be pointed in the same direction to direct the flow of traffic towards the exit. There's a series of individual steps that make up the moving stairs. They have ridges on the top and are sometimes made out of rubber so that they have better grip. The steps are painted yellow around the edge to encourage passengers not to stand too close to the edge. These steps stay flat while they're on top and it's a good thing too. Each step has two wheels on the bottom to guide it as it moves along. Then we have what's called the step chain. This attaches to the top of each step. Now all we need is a track system to guide these wheels. The step chain rolls along the top here and the bottom wheels roll along this track. The positioning of these tracks is what keeps the steps level. Let's just focus on one of the steps as it comes down. If this bottom wheel was just a little bit higher, the step would no longer be flat. Once we get to the end, the steps flip over and come around the other side. The same thing happens once we get back to the top here. The escalator motor is usually up at the top. It has to move this axle and two big gears that pull the step chain. Now we just connect it with more gears and a roller chain. These are connected by another small chain underneath. This is what moves the handrail. It's really important that the handrail move at the exact same speed as the steps. The steps go right underneath as their ridges fit close together. All of these parts are placed inside a strong metal frame which is called the truss. At the top and bottom of the escalator is what we call the comb plate. If the ridges weren't there, it would be much easier for something to get stuck. In conclusion, that's how escalators work with a fascinating blend of engineering and convenience.